Hello and welcome to Ben Levin Music School. This is a process I use to generate surprising chord progressions, like this one. Instead of thinking of how chords are related to a key, I think of how chords are related to a note. For example, if I play the note D, I might ask, what is a chord that has D in it? Of course, the most obvious answer to this is D major. D major is a chord in which D is the root. But what else? What if D were the third of some chord? What would that be? Well, that would be B flat major. B flat, D, F. And in this chord, B flat major, D is the third. Can we get a little fancier? What chord has D as its major seventh? Well, that would be E flat major seven. I mean, there's other ones too, like E flat minor major seven, but let's go with E flat major seven and hear how that sounds. You can continue harmonizing one note this way and get some beautiful progressions. Let's see if we can take this idea a little further. What if I use that same process that I used to harmonize one note to harmonize four different notes in a four note melody? So there are our four notes. Now I'm gonna go note by note and harmonize each note using the same process I used to harmonize D. I'm just gonna start with a major seventh chord because I feel like it. I'm gonna ask, what's a major seventh chord that has C? In it? Now C could be the root, it could be the third, it could be the seventh, it could be the fifth, the ninth, the thirteenth, there's so many things C could be. In this case, I'm just going to say, what is a major seventh chord that has C as the major seventh? And that chord happens to be D flat major seventh. D flat F A flat C. C is the major seventh of D flat major seventh. Now let's do that for the next note in the melody, D. I'm going to do another major seventh chord. And I'm going to say D will be the 2. So what chord has D as the 2? Well, C major 7 has D as the 2. So now we have C, E, G, B as the chord. And then this melody note is D. And it's the 2 of a C major 7th chord. And it sounds like this. Now for the next note, G, I'm going to make it minor. I'm going to say which minor chord has G as its minor 3rd? And the answer is E minor, E, G, B. So I'll have this E minor chord happen with my G melody note. Once again, keep in mind, I'm being a little random here when I say, all right, now I'm going to do a minor chord. It's just really on a whim to mix things up. And when I say, which minor chord has G as the third, I could just as easily ask, which minor chord has G as the fifth, or which minor chord has G as the second. So I'm just going with my gut. And so for this fourth note, this last note, we've got B. And I want to do something cool here. I'm going to do a major 7 sus 2 chord. And I'm going to make the 2 B. So what major 7 sus 2 chord has B as its 2? Well, the answer is A major 7 sus 2 has B as its 2. So I'm going to use A major 7 sus 2 to harmonize this B. And now all four melody notes are harmonized. Let's listen to this chord progression that we have as a result.
Let's take this a little further. Right now we have four melody notes and one chord for each melody note. And that means each time the progression cycles, it'll be exactly the same. But what if we remove one of the chords so that there's only three chords for these four melody notes, but we keep this form of major seven, major seven, minor looping against the four notes. Melody note one is the seventh of a major seventh chord. Melody note two is the two of a major seventh chord. Melody note three is the minor third of a minor chord. And then melody note four will go back to being the major seventh of a major seventh chord. That means melody note one will be the two of a major seventh chord. And melody note two will now be the minor third of a minor chord. And melody note three will go back to being the major seventh of a major seventh chord. And melody note four will be the two of a major seventh chord. And melody note one will be the minor third of a minor chord. And melody note two will be the major seventh of a major seventh chord. And melody note three will be the two of a major seventh chord. And melody note four will be the minor third of a minor chord. And melody note one will go back to being the major seventh of a major seventh chord. And so we've got this cycle of chords happening and you end up with this progression here. I could use this progression to write for choir and that would sound like this. Fancy. 